We are jumping right back in with a Necker battle. Did they always have these little, like, heads on them? Uh, would you let me... It's gonna drive me mad. Get out of here. Wow. They don't get staggered at all. Of course I do, though. Get out of here, man. <laughs> Necker's surface here. Dig their way out. Bye bye. A skull. I don't want that. I'll take all that stuff though. Did they always have those little skulls on their heads? I feel like they didn't. They're wearing like horse skulls or something? Deer skulls? Here more somewhere. All right, game. Where? Which way do you want me to go? Oh, you want me to go all the way around? Nope. Should have started doing that and just kind of ignored those fools. But it does mean I can break into somebody's house, steal all their hard-earned loots. This person doesn't have any. Little gnome house, perhaps? Perhaps. Run, Roach. Yeah, Roach. Roach, what what in the Jesus H are you doing, man? Go up the steps! Roach. Roach. Those are drowners, Roach. God damn you. Your terrible pathing. Roach. What? <laughs> damn it, Roach. You're making me look bad in front of the internet. The upper mill. Mm, yes. Slow now. I remember my days in the upper mill. What? 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 Long way and with dangers fraught. But in our homeland, they say, in risk, there is honor. Got a ring to it. Not true in my experience, though. Face plenty of risks. Honor, not so much. Because risk issues from intent. Important is this intent. The long passage I brave to admire the unknown and bring glory to myself and my liege. The world we must explore, virgin lands discover, new knowledge garner among our brothers than to spread. Or is there in life a beauty greater than to admire the new? To stand in awe of the never-ending creation of the world. You have a good, you have a that way with words. in a camp of explorers and philosophers. <laughs> Indeed. Your so does Geralt. To observe, knowledge to exchange, and goods, naturally, to 
trade. He's so blunt. Your homeland. Be glad to hear some tales about it if you've got the time. If time you have. For of my home I could speak until your ears withered and your legs failed you. What here they call Ophir, in truth, is many diverse polities and peoples. A land it is of vast steppes, mountains forbidding, lakes clear as crystal, and wild lands untouched. A land of fallen empires, kingdoms at their peak, and tribes that know no monarchs, yet remember in myth a time when the world was young. You call any of these lands home? Yes. A town with towers to make Nilfgaard weep with envy. Of philosophers, doctors, mathematicians, and mages an enclave. But about this last you should, my friend, interrogate. For one among them is he, the Runerite. I'll make it a point to talk to him. <sighs> yes, the Runerite, for sure, we'll be talking fear? with him. Mind if I have a look? Oh, I was looking at his stuff like... I was looking at my stuff like, wow! He's got a lot of the same stuff I do. <laughs> this thing? 277 to 339. have one of those I'm sure a lot of this might be useful at some point it's flawless stuff for sure black pearl a hundred percent maximum inventory weight I'm pretty sure that I don't even have that I, I don't even know how to check to be 100% honest. How much is it? Our craftsman's goods. You see worth in them? Quite a bit, I'd say. Ah, these are nothing compared to what I could offer had I not lost my prize diagrams. How'd you lose them? To thieves. In our travels, I and my companions surprise attacked by local ruffians were. The diagrams, they're lost. I bemoan not so much as I do one of my comrades. Killed in the violence. See if I can't find your diagrams. Recover them for you. These instructions, when followed, produce items. Oh yeah, new loot, baby. Tell me where you were attacked. Remember? A crossroads, not far. Forgive me. For this area, I know poorly. Detailed directions I cannot provide. North of the spot stood the residence uh, near ruin. Should be able to find it. Quite the mount you've got. Ah, yes. A loyal friend I have in Babietza, and she is wiser than many a man. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Countless races we have won together. Couldn't say so, the same for Roach, an though. Explorer and a jockey in one. From where I come, small children ride, and not a gathering is by a horse race not crowned. Heard a lot of good things about Ophiri mares. Their speed. Care to race? <laughs> Swift as the western winds are our mounts. To prove this would be an honor. So race we must. Let us race! Probably gonna lose since it's been forever since I've done any of this. <laughs> Get up. To her limits. Faster. I 
hear neckers. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I was not expecting that. Whoa, what the? Can't be doing that to me, game. What was that, a chicken or something? Oh no! 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 Oh shit, I. No. <laughs> Come on. We're almost there. Come on, Roach. You can do it! What are you doing, Roach? You can't just stop. Be swift. I will see you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Roach. You are so sexy. A fearing mares may be swift as the wind. Not quite as fast as my Roach, though. <laughs> I congratulate you. A saddle for your mount. I just bought one, too. A contest to commemorate. It will make you a rider <laughs> even swift. Uh, Thanks. Like your new gear, Roach? <laughs> Much may be said of a man by how he treats his horse. Yeah, me and Roach, we, we disagree sometimes, come, but... When love brought together the skies and the step, and from their union was born the first mare, weak were the creatures called men. They fell prey to countless dangers. The mare nursed them. Her milk fed them. Strong they grew. And she let them saddle her. Warriors they became, and gave fight to their foes. The myths teach us to respect our horses. Noblest among all beasts. Beautiful story. Thanks for that and the race. Yeah, Roach, when... When you decide to run headfirst into a wall, or take a different path, it can be annoying, but... Take care now. Go, and in the world glory, its never-ending creation be praised. Farewell. can be annoying, but... You're still a boss. This is obvious. Alright. Saddlebags. 100% maximum inventory weight. Eighty five stamina. Well, that was a complete waste, huh? <laughs> Should have checked to see what I had first. It's kind of stupid. Um, might as well sell some of that. It is to see you again. What did you bring? For Because they do weigh quite a bit. Might as well equip those. Take care now. Go. But I don't. I never really use them, the blinders, because Roach needs to be able to see. And that's kind of messed up if you put shit over his eyes. <laughs> oh yeah, we have that new quest now too. Yeah, here it is. 
Look for the place where the furry merchant was attacked. Oh, fairy? Oh, fairy. fairy. I'm completely butchering that. Royal lineages of the north. All right, let's talk to you. Greetings. Greetings. And praise the world in its never-ending creation. Yes, indeed. Don't take this the wrong way, but honestly, the world doesn't deserve much praise. <sighs> Nordlings. <laughs> Disagreeable always. Faces crinkled, sour. Ready to quibble to death even a simple greeting. Ah, <laughs> but my tongue now has soured while you for trade have come. Sadly... I can forge for you nothing. My belongings, tools inclusive, all lost. Well, that sucks. You're a craftsman or a mage. Your tongue has no word to fit my trade. A scholar and artisan I am. Part craftsman, part mage. You sounds badass. You and you have red eyes. <laughs> Familiar to you are these words? No. Runecraft seems pretty self-explanatory, though. True, though my craft further ventures. Runes and glyphs I first make, then arrange into powerful magic words. Great practical applications, as my art. For rune stones properly forged in a sword set so as to form a magic word, the blade more power grant than rune stones set haphazardly. Such words, too, can of glyphs be made and set in armor. That sounds very interesting and something I probably want to do, and I'm kind of glad that I don't have runes currently set in the armor that I have on. Listen, folks sometimes hire me to solve their problems, even retrieved a missing item or two in my time. For me, this you cannot do. I sailed upon a great ship, it sank, and my instruments took to the sea's dark depths. Buying replacements not an option? Of my own design, they were specially forged. A fortune it cost to make them. And all the coin that with me I had brought lies now in the murky abyss with my instruments. Well, maybe I can help you. Seems your skills could be useful to me. Given that, I'd be happy to help you out. What do you say I get you the coin you need? Could pay me back in runes and glyphs. Is it certain your offer? A great sum I require. Tools of great expense I need to make even the simplest glyph. I make no mention of the more advanced or master crafted. Rest easy. Got a feeling this will be a good investment. 5,000? That's it? Should we see what else he has to say about his art first? It sounds kind of interesting. The way you talk about your art sound more like a man of faith than scholarship. Faith and scholarship for you lie in conflict. I like the way he With talks, land, too. <laughs> it's kind of mesmerizing. Wisdom, their source of esteem. The Ophiri believe in any gods? From region to region, this varies. Raised I was to believe in one god, the world. Symbols are God's speech. To study his words is to draw nearer to him. Symbols, meaning runes and glyphs. Mere signs are these. An attempt by men imperfect to describe the world. Yet a magic to them there is. And from God, all magic issues. When runes I create, when into words I arrange them, this is prayer. And when into swords I enchant them, that is my benediction. Man, that's deep. Take this shit kind of seriously. What brings you to our lands? A simple thing. For knowledge, a thirst. All he could, my mentor had taught me. The tongues of our lands I'd learned, of all our plants and animals I know the names. Risk that long a journey to learn new words? A life of plenty I would have lived at home, for the beauty and import of my art are respected. 
But such a life would be unfulfilled. Great and diverse is the world. For a pace continues its creation. A riddle it is, which through symbols speaks. The world. I like this guy. <laughs> He's wish. cool. The signs by which it speaks to discover, their syntax to master. Through this, to learn the principles of creation. Mm, yes. Geralt, like, Geralt's like, just shut the hell up, take my money, so I can kill monsters easily. <laughs> Got some coin on me. Is enough? Uh, start, it is. Costly craft. Yet the costs do not end with coin. Need I shall also a jade stone of size substantial. Hmm, see what I can do. Find a pickaxe. Okay, looks like we're gonna be doing some minecrafting <laughs> pretty soon here. Oh, we got 8,600 coins left. I got a good amount of. Uh, yeah, I got different currencies I can convert into orins, which I definitely will. Like I said, it looks like we're probably going to be doing some minecrafting here in a few minutes. But Apparently, likely to find some small jade deposits northeast of Novigrad. Ought to try my luck there. Yeah. Sure, let's go do some mining. Okay. Looks like it could be fun. Ooh, abandoned site. We'll have to check that out. I can't... Honestly, I can't remember if this section was open. In the vanilla game. But... Next time, I become a Minecraft YouTuber. 